His nose is already oh. burning. Oh. And a left hook. Oh. Oh. Kick. Over. Oh. For a long time, MMA fans believed that the heaviest left hand, more specifically left hook, belongs to Conor McGregor. It's most likely that till this day, the Irishman still has the heaviest left punch in the lightweights. However, the most powerful left hook in the UFC belongs to Alex Pereira, the new title contender in the middleweight. Dear friends, today's video once again dedicated to the heavy hitting Brazilian whose spectacular performance at UFC 276 motivated me to make another video on him. Please don't forget about the likes and comments with four words. Here we go. Andreas Michalides. After a long period of dominating in kickboxing, Alex Pereira wanted to focus on MMA but couldn't find an opportunity. But as he had his last fight in glory in September 2021, the Brazilian took a deep dive into MMA. After a truly impressive knockout against Thomas Povel back in 2020, oh, yeah. oh, over Whoa. and out! Pereira was noticed by the UFC and consequently signed with the world's best league. The debut was targeted in November 2021 at UFC 268. His opponent happened to be the Greek Andreas Michalides with a record of 13 to 4. He's a tough opponent, for sure he's going to try to trade some strikes, but I don't think he's going to do the whole, the whole fight. For sure he'll be trying to take me down. But it's not something that really gets me concerned, to be honest, because he's not a great wrestler. I have a good jiu-jitsu, but I watched some previous fights at him, some previous tapes, and he tried some takedowns, but was not successful. And you can't work jiu-jitsu if you cannot transit the fight to the ground. Well, I just didn't come here to go after Adesanya. I came here to be a champion. Who knows, maybe by the time that I get there, he's no longer the champ anymore. So I'm just focusing on one day at a time. I just got to the organization and just aim to be a champion here. If I get there, it's him, fine. If sometimes maybe it cannot be him, so don't worry. Yeah, I'm aware of it because uh, yeah, he's a very no well-known fighter. I know him like before I was participating in UFC. Uh, he's a good fighter, but that's MMA. That's not kickboxing, so. He has to be aware of many things. Many were anticipating the long-awaited debut of Pereira as the middleweight division seemed to be in shambles at that time. Adesanya has beaten all the top fighters and those who he hasn't beaten just couldn't get to him losing to his previous opponents. Pereira was a breath of fresh air in the middleweight class. In the first round, the Greek did exactly what was expected of him. Wrestling, clinch and all that stuff. One can relate to Andreas as exchanging with such a knockout artist on the feet is pure insanity. However, his resistance lasted only for one round. With just a few seconds into the second round, Pereira launches a titanic knee and knocks Michalides down badly. It's better to say, knocks out, because the follow-up was just a formality. Absolutely brilliant debut that caused some headlines to appear such as Adesanya's killer is already in the UFC and he is ready to knock the champion out right now. Wow, what a display of striking technique. By the way, Pereira had a similar knockout in kickboxing against Jason Wilness. Well, I came here of course to be a champ, but I'm almost taking my time evolving, getting better every day. I'm 34 years old, but I'm happy to be every day getting better and better. Ertigral Byrak all right, let's get back to kickboxing, as Pereira doesn't have too many MMA fights at the moment. As you remember from the previous video, Alex Pereira became the first fighter in glory's history who simultaneously held two belts in different weight classes, dominating the middleweight division for a long time. Alex moved up to the light heavyweight division where he faced Donegi Abina, a young and hungry fighter, but things ended up not going too good for him. Of course, Donegi was biting back and showing some sort of activity. Wait a minute. Oh, Pereira may be hurt here. He's got a knockout finish round. You see Pereira using the... He's a knee now, trying to hold on. Can Peloton put him down? And that is a knockdown for Pereira. But his left hook finds everybody. Oh, no! He's done it! He has done it! I think that his punch should be considered a cold weapon. Just wow! 
absolutely stunning KO. After conquering the interim championship in light heavyweight division, Pereira was waiting to face the undisputed champion. But due to the injuries of the current reigning king, Alex had to move down to the middleweight again and defend his belt against the Turk, Ertugrul Bayrak. It literally was an outclass. He walked the number one ranked fighter in the world down like it was nothing. Now, no one else comes even close. I like that. In MMA, we haven't really seen too many of them in kickboxing. And destroyed him with his hands made from stone. He just got sharp eyes, but by Rack's hurt. Yeah, that, that wobbled by Rack. He was backed up against the rope. Look at these knees from Pereira. Goes to the body. Low kicks. Yeah, I still feel that, but Pereira's intelligent. By Rack backed in the corner. His body language is telling us a very sad story, Joe. Maybe chop away at the leg, but again, if he chops at the leg, it kind of opens up his guard and he gets hit. No comments. With literally one second before the bell, Pereira throws his deadly hook again and puts Byrak to sleep. Wow, what a knockout. It took a while to revive Ertrigal, which is obvious. That left hook, man. What a savage striker Pereira is. Since it was announced, yes, I asked two times already to be on the show. Thank Gloria for listening. No, I came here to give it a big show because this is a show and it was deserved a show and here you guys got it. Mike on Silva. By the time of 2017, Pereira was already successful in kickboxing, beat Adesanya twice, which we talk about later, and even tried his luck in getting the glory belt but didn't succeed. Nevertheless, his next fight allowed the Brazilian to recover and go on to middleweight domination. Although not in the glory organization, his next opponent was from Brazil, Maicon Silva. The WGP middleweight title was at stake, which was held by Pereira. Alex set the pace from the very first seconds of the fight, landed heavy and pressured Maicon. To be honest, Silva didn't land flush at all and didn't have any answers to Pereira's game. The Poetan continued his onslaught and lands his left hook again. Man, it's this guy in PlayStation who spams the exact button again and again, but it works every goddamn time. Absolutely savage knockout. Mikon even took a little flight because of that punch. After this knockout, Pereira racked up eight more wins while earning middleweight and lightweight glory belts. Israel Adesanya. We know who's next, that poor time, poor Trust me, the first time I told you, it was an error on my part, spamming right hands, and that was in kickboxing. But like I said at the press conference, next time I put you on skates, you're gonna get frozen like Elsa. I'll leave it at that. Of course, all of you tuned in because of this rivalry. I think it's not a secret to anyone that Alex Pereira is the next title contender in the UFC's middleweight division. Prior to that, Pereira and Adesanya had two fights in kickboxing and ironically, their trilogy will be held in MMA. But before that, it is necessary to recall how it went down. Their first fight happened on April the 2nd, 2016 at Glory of Heroes tournament. First round on Adesanya's terms. Israel did a great job with his jab, landed some shots and saw every Pereira lunge. All the Brazilian's punches missed or hit the block. The second round was more competitive. You could even score it for Alex. A lot of hand exchanges, heavy blows and high pace. What a joy to witness this clash. The third round was a complete shutout from Adesanya. Cool combinations, stinging jab, and pressure with a lot of activity. To be honest, this round was even more one-sided than the first one. As a result, one could score it as two to one or even three to zero for Adesanya. However, Pereira got his hand raised. In all fairness, I believe that it was a robbery. The second fight was held on March the 4th, 2017. There were a lot less questions to the winner this time, but still there were some, sure, Alex knocked Adesanya out cold with a signature left hook, but people forget what was happening prior to that. Adesanya clearly took the first two rounds. He was tight with his strikes and good at catching Pereira. In the second round, Pereira was put on skates. 
这个佩拉有点晕，继续，佩隆继续拳法腿法，佩拉明显出现了晕，这时候裁判应该给一次读秒啊啊重拳连续的重拳啊给了叫停了要读秒了。It's actually the reason why we should give Pereira his credit. Despite a horrible fight, he managed to come back in the third round. Started walking easy down and slayed him with the left hook. No matter what anyone says on paper, Pereira is two to zero in their rivalry, and I can't wait for their trilogy fight in the UFC. I think it will be awesome. Let's get 5,000 likes on this video, and we'll put out a breakdown for this fight. Sean Strickland. The fight, which happened quite recently, is very important for Pereira and the middleweight division. The division finally got its own boogeyman, El Kukoi, who can scare the hell out of at least all the strikers in the weight class. But let's get things in order first. Here's the thing, man. Here's the thing. Let me tell you guys something. There's not one glory kickboxer in any weight class I couldn't stand and bang with. So don't tell me just because you're some big. Brazil, and you knocked out Izzy 20 years ago. The and I can't stand with you. Come on, get out of here. Well, I definitely have a different game from all these previous opponents, and I think I have weapons, enough weapons to stop his game, to do the anti game, and you know, leave with the W. That man was the one that slept that man. So, you know, next to me, next to me, probably Alex. I mean, what was it like, 2-0 against Izzy? Izzy, what was it, 2-0? Did you watch the whole fight? No, I don't watch. Exactly. Do your Up next time. Oh man, I made the champion mad with his frosted tips and his gay little watch. Oh no, bro, bro, your, bro, your Pornhub is just full of cartoons, bro. No man that beats off the cartoons is gonna beat me. Bro, calm trust down. me. If calm ever, down. I can tell you what. Calm down. I break your calm fucking down. face. I'll calm break your fucking face. Hey, I'll Alex, break my nail in your get face. This man, Alex, get this. Hey man, you better fuck so your guy ain't gonna fuck you up. Without questions, Sean Strickland drew attention to the fight and himself. It seemed like the number four ranked fighter in the middleweight division could do something to Pereira. At the very least, try to turn the fight into a wrestling match. But man, Alex is unstoppable. His left hook finds its target again. A follow-up with the right straight makes the referee stop the fight. Alex Pereira breaks into the top of the middleweight division. By literally destroying Sean Strickland, just wow! Is Adesanya really the next? Right now, it seems like this guy can destroy anybody. Well, that sucked. It,、uh, you never want to be someone's highlight, but that's a game we play. You know, I tried to stand bang with one of the best kickboxers. The, the part about it was, you know, during the round, I kept thinking, man, this is going to be an easy fight. I see everything this guy's throwing. I'm getting the better of the exchanges. I'm gonna beat this guy up for three rounds, and then halfway through, I got caught. So hats off to Alex; he's a killer.、Uh, thank all my coaches. Saw we didn't get the win. It's depressing. I'm gonna be sad for a while. And fans, thank you for supporting me.、Uh, on to the next one. Time to climb up the ladder again. Many people talk about my two wins, wins over Israel Designer, and say that was on kickboxing. Today, I just beat the feet the number four in the ranks, so I know I earned it. Well, I believe that without any doubts. Alex Pereira earned his shot at the title, and I think that all of us MMA fans are impressed with Pereira. Would you like to see my breakdown of the fight between Pereira and Adesanya? Let's get 5,000 likes, as I mentioned earlier, and I will make it happen. Thanks. That's it for now, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if yes, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any upcoming videos. The last thing for me to say is, see you guys in the next video.